the index, the intros. I was like, uh, how are we going to learn all the calculations and stuff? But it, it came real easy in a few classes. I thought it was going to take like more than half the, the whole study. But so wait, so Estevez, wait, so Estevez, are you saying you just thought I was some random crazy old man? Is that what you thought? No, nah, no, nah, I was just saying like um, in the from the beginning to like four classes in, I I, I thought we wasted a lot of time just going over how the whole book is set up rather than doing the calculations. I was so worried about the calculations, but I see why you did it that way, and it's a perfect. You got like a perfect routine to get everything. Yes. So, yes. I have a so system. Look. I'm just deploying it in a different way now. You know what I mean? So I know the test backwards and forwards. I understand the strategy that ICC is using to test you guys. I am giving you guys all of their secrets, their tips and their tricks. That's one thing I'm giving you. Then, for you to navigate through everything that they're throwing at you, you need to understand first how the code book is laid out, how it's structured. You need to be able to navigate through it. It starts with Article 90. First, you have to understand why the code book exists, why, why it's here, why they printed it, why they went through all of the trouble of manufacturing this thing. Then after that, we get into chapter one, definitions. Definitions is part of the test, right? But it's also content and material there that a lot of you guys aren't familiar with because nobody's touched every section of the code book. There's no electrician that knows everything. So I got to walk you through that. Then we get into 110, requirements for clearances. So what I do, I remove all of the fat and fluff from any course like this exists. I give you exactly what you need, but I give you a scientific strategy. I'm an electrician too. I'm not some bubblegum machine technician trying to teach electricians. I know what you need to know. I kind of know how you think. I know what you deal with day to day. I know, I know how the code book is structured. So I figured out, a way to efficiently navigate through it specifically for what you need. And what you're going to realize after you leave me weeks, months, um, you even heard uh, Chris uh, Round Roundsville mention, like after the first or second class, something that we went through, he was able to use utilize it on a job site already with some of his coworkers, Right. So I'm not just giving you what you need to pass this ICC exam. I'm giving you what I feel electricians need at the beginning of their career or in the middle to pivot and make some advancements. This code book right here is the great divider, right? There are a lot of guys out here that feel like, they are at the top of their game because they know how to turn a wrench or a screw or they can drill things. No, 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 no. What makes you a really great electrician is being able to consult and advise your clients, your customers to understand uh, the uh, process that the engineer that created the floor plans that you're working by what he used to get all that. You need to almost know just as much as he knows for the design process for what you're doing. You also need to be able to communicate at a higher level with other contractors, other tradespeople, other electricians, people working under you. You need to sound like you know what you're talking about, right? That helps you gain respect in the industry. And understanding the code book does that for you it starts to separate you from the guys that just know how to turn screws and wrenches it makes you a sharper tool you bring more value to the job site to your customers that's my job that's what i'm doing for you mr estevez